We're back in the parking lot today to bring you a training series on the basics of slow riding. It's gonna be a three-part series. Welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders. I am Rich. Cake's not with me today. She's actually babysitting. So this is part one of the three-part series. And here we're gonna cover the friction zone, the elusive friction zone. We're gonna talk about what is the friction zone, riding in the friction zone, and I'm gonna do a demonstration on riding in the friction zone. So let's get started on that right now. So what is the friction zone and where is it? The friction zone is this area right here in that area. So in order to be in a friction zone, I cannot have the clutch all the way out because now I'm giving my wheel 100% power. If I pull the clutch all the way in, 0% power. So the friction zone is right here in between. And let it be known, the friction zone is different on each and every bike. For me, as I'm riding, when I let my friction zone out, this is where I start my friction zone. Right here is probably where Kate's friction zone is. Yours may be somewhere in between here also. And let it be known also, when you're riding in a friction zone, you're not in one particular spot. You're not just here riding in a friction zone. You get to manipulate this entire area. So you're riding, manipulating the entire, entire area of the friction zone. You wanna go slower, you pull the clutch in a little bit more. Not here because that's 0% power to the rear wheel. So if you wanna go faster, you let the clutch out a little bit. Not here because you're giving it 100% power to your rear wheel and you are no longer riding in a friction zone. So what I'm gonna do is keep this camera on and I'm gonna put my gloves on. I don't know how much the camera gonna pick it up with my gloves on and ride in a friction zone. Now you wanna be somewhere in, you wanna be somewhere around a thousand, uh, should I say 1100 to 1500 RPMs while riding in a friction zone and you should be perfect. Don't want, don't want to go too high, don't want to stay too low. Because if you pull that clutch in, if you pull this clutch in all the way and you start doing slow turns while riding in the friction zone, then the bike gonna want to fall. So you need some power to the rear wheel. And everything's the same as, as it always been. Head and eyes where you want to go. And riding in the friction zone, it's all about control. The more you control your bike, the better you're gonna get, the more fun you have, not letting the bike control you. Like I said before, everything is head and eyes, but today we're just gonna do a straight ride. We're not doing any twists or everything. This is about riding in the friction zone. So what I'm gonna do is set the camera up, probably here on the line, and first ride straight towards the camera, then ride across the camera. And remember, when you're riding in the friction zone, you wanna be doing a walking pace, and the average the average walking person of the average person is two to four and a half miles an hour. So if you're doing four, five, six miles an hour, learning your friction zone, that's fine. But start to slow it down just a little bit more. And do not put heavy pressure on the rear brake. You don't want to start stabbing at the rear brake. Just kind of light pressure on the rear brake. Staying at a steady throttle, or you can blip it if you want to. And you will get this friction zone down. So what I'm going to do, is make sure I put my helmet on, all the gear all the time, and go through this demonstration. And I have a camera on the handlebar so you can see my hand when I'm riding in a friction zone. Change the camera, we're gonna get started right now. Okay, now that I'm on the bike, we're gonna do some friction zone riding. So when we do this friction zone riding, remember, walking pace, which is called a slow race. In a slow race, you wanna go somewhere around four miles, four and a half miles an hour and under because the average person, the average person walk two to four and a half miles an hour at a nice pace. So what I'm gonna do is just show you right quick, friction zone riding, and we're gonna wrap this up. Right now, I'm out of the friction zone because I'm 100% with no power to the rear wheel. As I start going into the friction zone, when the bike start moving, you're going into the friction zone. Out again entering the friction zone. So what I'm gonna do is turn the bike around, ride toward the camera, about four and a half miles an hour. If you go five, six, that's fine. Anything under 10 is fine. If you go two to three, 
in one, that's perfect. Now you're reaching that expert level. Now when we're doing this slow race, it's not like the parking lot flow race that you've been seeing going around YouTube. This is just to get you to ride in that friction zone at a nice steady pace. You can blip the throttle if you want to, or you can have a steady, a steady throttle and still ride that friction zone and it's controlled. It's all about controlling your bike, nothing else. You control that bike, you can have a lot of fun. This is why you see so many people talk about Ride in the friction zone, ride in friction zone, head and eye, look where you want to go, rear pressure on the brake, ride in the friction zone. Now, like I said, you don't want to put hard pressure on that brake and have your bike bouncing. So I'm going to turn around here and get started riding in the friction zone. I'm going to just go down this way and then do it coming back also. So as I'm headed down here, I'm going to make a U-turn. I'm 100% out of the friction zone right now. I'm coasting. One thing you don't want to do is coast your bike when you turn. You always want to have some power to that rear wheel no matter what. And now I'm going to come down here, go about four miles an hour, keep a steady throttle first, riding in the friction zone. If I want to speed up a little bit, I let it out. I want to slow down, I use a little brake and pull it in and still have a steady throttle. Out, in. Zero percent power, out of the friction zone. So the next one I'm just going to go come across so you can see what it looked like going across the camera so right here as I'm crossing the camera I'm gonna go about four and a half miles an hour again I'm riding in the friction zone right now I could blip the throttle it's not going anywhere or I could just let it out if I need to and go come back one more time and then I'm gonna do it from the rear so you can see it from the rear let me get a little closer to the camera I don't know how much it's picking up I don't know if I have it on wide angle right now friction zone head and eyes straight up steady Okay, next one I am going to do is show you how it looks from behind. It's riding in the friction zone. I hope it's picking up. I'm on my brake. Steady throttle. Riding in the friction zone. Off my brake. Not going anywhere. Riding in the friction zone. If you can see my foot off the brake. I'll do it coming back towards you. So the brakes is just helping you control your bike. You don't have to take your foot off the brake. But if you don't need to use it, Maybe you don't need to use it. Just learning that throttle control in a friction zone. Okay, I'm in a friction zone. Steady throttle, foot off. Gas it up, not going any quicker unless I let it out. And that's it. Friction zone. Always ride slow riding in a friction zone. Be because the friction zone is the basic, the mere basic, the holy grail of all slow maneuvers. So, Go in the parking lot. This is why you don't need no cones with the third one. You're going to see what we do on the third one. You're going to need some cones. The second one, you may need some cones also. But once you start riding in that friction zone and gaining control of your riding, you will have a lot more fun, especially when you start doing tight circles and tight turns. In fact, let me do one tight circle and tight turn right quick for you so you can see I'm riding in the friction zone. Here we go. I stay in my friction zones, get it close enough so the camera can see it. And right here, I just want to start doing my little circles. So I'm looking where I want to go, steady throttle in the friction zone, steady throttle right here. Looking where I want to go, doing tight circles inside of two parking spaces, which is, I think, 18 feet. If I want to go tighter, I just start scraping. And that's it. Ride it in the friction zone. There it goes. Right there. So that's all I have for now. So if you're out riding, remember, practice that six friction zone and ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. For Boots and Jeans riders, I'm Rich, and I'm out. Peace. And don't give me no flack about my white gloves, just, just so you can see it. Mm -hmm.